Hey, it's Kim Darwaza here, and I'm here with my weekly uh, Northern Virginia real estate report. Sorry, it's later than usual, but I was out showing property, and believe it or not, it's still really busy. Um, even though it's the week before Thanksgiving, usually it gets we start to slow down, but I still have a bunch of buyers that I'm trying to get properties for. So, um, the daylight savings time, in addition to being a buzzkill because it gets dark so early and I can't do my nightly walks with my husband, it's annoying for showing property. I totally forgot I scheduled a appointment to show property at 5.30 in Vienna tonight. It's like pitch black, so we can't see anything in the yard, so I got to remember now I've got to readjust that schedule that we have to see properties before four o'clock. So just something to think about uh, when you go show property and you want an appointment, you definitely want to see it in daylight. Home inspections need to happen in daylight. So we're going to have to schedule them earlier. We don't have the luxury of the summer of doing them until 8 p.m. So a few other things that um, I saw this week, um, I'm, I'm considering um, a high-end I'm more of a high-end real estate agent, meaning that if you're selling a $300,000 house or a $5 million house, I pretty much kind of treat you the same well as, so as far as like um, photography and marketing and that kind of things. Obviously, I advertise in different magazines for higher things. But there was a scenario this week, I went and showed like a $1.8 million house in Vienna and my clients were like, okay, can we get a floor plan? There's no floor plan, there's no measurements in the MLS, because most people in general, especially those looking at that price range, wanna know if their extra large furniture is going to fit in the dining room or the bedroom, um, those kind of things. And so I reached out to the agent and I said, um, do you have a floor plan or room measurements? And she's like, no, the only information we have is in the MLS. And I'm like, so basically you're getting paid a shit ton of money and you can't even do measurements of the house. I mean, you can like literally, I have a thing I bought on Amazon. It's a laser pointer thing to measure. I pay my photographer to do the measurements and the floor plans, but for instance, for um, when I'm doing a rental property, it's not cost effective for me to pay for him to do that because the rental commissions are so low. So I have this $40 thing. I do all the measurements myself. So stop hiring lazy agents, please, for the love of God. I mean, like, make sure your agent does floor plans, room measurements, because it can really affect the sale of the property and whether someone buys it. So just something to think about. So that was something I saw. Um, I have a client moving here from Colorado and they're interested in the Lena Mill community in Aldi in the estate section, which those houses start at roughly 1.3 million. And so I reached out to the um, sales agents that work there and I said, okay, what's your timing? And what she's like, we have no lots for sale. We have 33 lots that we're going to start releasing not all at once but over time starting end of January early February and I said well what's the delivery and she's like well the delivery should be shorter since we're fixing our backlog situation and we're holding really you know releasing lots so it'll be probably 10 to 12 months so because of the labor shortage and things of that nature it's just taking so much longer to build these houses. So if you think that's something you're gonna wanna do, um, building like a new construction property, you're really looking at like, you're at least a year out, which, and there's no, um, they used to have like quick release homes or quick move in homes where they've already spec them out and you just kind of take what, what they have already spec'd out. There's none of that. So luckily my clients are in a position where they can uh, work from home and so that time frame will work for them, but um, They won't even have anything any lots to pick out until like February. So just keep that in mind um, If it's something that you're like, oh in nine months from now or a year, you know, it's better to To do that now because you're gonna wait that long period of time. So those are a few of the things this week just with my own personal business um, 
another hot topic again is the interest rates. Fannie Mae is forecasting that the rates will be about 3.3% in Q1 of 2022, and they're probably going to go up to about 3.6% by the time we get to um, Q3. So just keep that in mind. Um, and again, there's all these headlines out there that are meant to terrify instead of clarify. So I'm going to just go. So one of them was like foreclosure starts up 49% over last year. Okay. Which don't even get me started. Okay. So let's talk about that. We had 8,348 foreclosures in the entire United States. Okay. August, 2019 pre pandemic, there were 28,000. So such a low number, such a low number. So yeah, if you have any questions about these ridiculous headlines that are used to get you to watch or sell newspapers, please contact me and I will be more than happy to tell you what's really going on. And another one was mortgage originations will drop 33% in 2022 as interest rate rise. Okay. And normally, like mortgage originations is a sign of how many buyers out there. Well, what they failed to tell you is that refinance originations will drop 62% because everybody's refinanced at this point, okay? And that mortgage originations for the purposes of buying a home will rise 9%. You know, so they've... So the poor, the poor lenders aren't going to be making, you know, the extra money from all the refis, but everyone's house is still going to be selling because mortgage originations for new homes that for purchases are going to go up by 9%, like I said, um, for a record $1.73 trillion is what they're expecting in 2022. They're expecting a housing appreciation of about 5.1% next year and um, forecasting that home sales will exceed, next year will exceed this year. I mean, home sales were definitely down this year, 2.7%, um, and they're down because of low inventory, not because people aren't buying. So anyways, so that is my quick and dirty for this week. Um, I don't wanna continue to beat a, head, uh, a dead horse. Um, so to speak, with the same information over and over again. But those are the things I saw this week and some of the headlines that I just wanted to let you know are ridiculous. So thanks for watching. And um, I hope everyone has an amazing Thanksgiving week with your friends, family, um, and all that good stuff. My daughter gets in at nine o'clock tonight, so I'm very excited to have her home for the week. So thanks for watching and have a great Thanksgiving and I appreciate you.